Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Today is Tuesday, February 11th. It's week 6 of my Eurosexification 2014. I didn't post an update video yesterday and I'm not going to anymore on Mondays because I'm really working hard on my website and it takes too long to do an update video along with two other videos during the week. Uh, i got to be working on my website so I'm only going to be doing the videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, today is Just a Tip Tuesday where I'll also be telling about how my progress is doing. I weighed in at 279 yesterday, 278 today. Definitely disappointing. Um, I was hoping to be, based on past uh, diets, uh, low 270s, high 260s by now. And that's what today's Just a Tip Tuesday video is all about, is how to find that you're making progress without the scale telling you. Because it's a big, big problem for a lot of people if they don't see results, they lose their motivation, they lose their confidence, and they end up quitting on their diet uh, or their health-related goals. So you've got to stay motivated in order to lose weight and succeed. So I've got five tips that I use that uh, help me stay motivated even when the scale, like it is doing now, doesn't tell me that I'm losing weight. Number one is the mirror. I know for me, the big, big tell that I'm gaining weight too quick or that I'm losing weight is my face. I'll look in the mirror while I'm brushing my teeth or something, and usually I can tell based on how my face is looking how I'm doing, gaining weight, losing weight, or anything like that. Uh, stand in front of a full-size mirror, full-length mirror. Take your clothes off. Uh, I mean, you know how you looked a couple weeks ago or last week. Be honest with yourself. If you're seeing a little bit more definition around your abs or in your butt or... Uh, anywhere like that, you're probably making progress. Uh, your body is full of water. Uh, it's mostly water and things like that. There could be weeks where you don't lose any weight on the scale. But um, yeah, maybe you look better in the mirror. So use that to keep your confidence up. Um, another thing I use is how are your clothes feeling? Um, do your pants fit better? I mean, yeah, you wore your jeans two weeks ago. Can you feel that they're a little bit looser? Uh, and not just more that they're stretching more, but uh, do they feel looser? Uh, when you put your shirt on, does it feel a little bit less tight around your arms? Use that as a tell. I know right now I'm trying to make myself feel better um, by uh, telling myself that I took three weeks off from, or not three weeks, three months while I was in Europe and over the holidays from uh, weightlifting. So trying to make myself feel better that I haven't lost as much weight because I've gained a little bit of muscle weight because I'm lifting. Uh, my strength is about back to where it was before I left for Europe. Uh, I might be gaining a little bit of that muscle back uh, while burning some fat. So hopefully the scale starts to speed up on me soon. But that's one and two. Uh, number three, we've got uh, uh, just the other day, uh, my friend Aaron over in Oregon, he said, yeah, you can tell that... Uh, you're doing good on your diet, you can see it in your face. Uh, what are your friends saying? Uh, if you're a month in, you might have made some progress that's noticeable to your friends that see you all the time, or see pictures, or see, see you at the office. Do they say, oh wow, you're losing weight, and uh, hopefully they are. Or maybe they might say, oh yeah, I can see it in the clothes you're wearing, or oh wow, you look, you look good in that. Use that as motivation. So that's number three. Number four, I'm taking notes over here. Um, this takes a little bit of effort, but uh, take progress photos. Uh, obviously, hopefully you took a before photo at the very beginning. I know I did, and I haven't really been keeping up with the progress photos just because uh, it takes a little bit of time. But uh, take a progress photo from week to week or every other week or every month. Compare your photos. Uh, maybe the scale didn't say anything, but looking from week one to week four, you can obviously probably tell some difference, especially if you're working really hard. So let that help you with your motivation. And number five, which is uh, the reason that you're trying to lose weight and uh, be healthier and eat healthier and do everything that you're doing, how do you feel? At the beginning of your diet, you probably started the diet because you were feeling sluggish. You didn't have much energy, things like that. How do you feel now? Uh, are you sleeping better? Uh, do you just feel better throughout the day? Um, do you have more energy? There's a whole bunch of different ways that uh, you just feel better. Do you feel better emotionally? Um, do you not get, are you not a negative person really anymore? Are you more positive about this and that? That's probably because your emotions are better, you're feeling better, 
you're healthier, and things like that. So that's five different ways other than the scale telling you that you lost weight. I know I'm only a few more, hopefully about two weeks away from looking a whole lot better in my jeans that I wore before I left for Europe. So uh, I'm definitely excited for that. I know I got squats today uh, to help with that. But uh, yeah, those are five different ways. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please share it. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. There will be more videos over the next few weeks. You can follow me also on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, all stuff like that. Or uh, We just posted a big six-pound breakfast video on my Randy Santel food channel, uh, food challenge channel. But uh, until my video on Thursday, thanks for watching.